Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you is live action from the Cinch Premiership. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, they're matching up here, so this will be about which wing backs can dominate and how the front combinations play. It should be a good contest, though. And so the match is underway. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Good vision. Can he get onto this? An alert reaction to tip it over. So a corner here. Can someone get on the end of this? Making sure nothing untoward happened. And the cross into the middle. A very effective clearance. Brophy. Randall. Getting forward. And the pass, a good one. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Small. O'Hara. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Body in the way. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Now with O'Hara. Done. Is it going to be? Terrific piece of anticipation. Brophy. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Teammates available. Well, they could run onto it here.
Brophy. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Over it comes. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Jan Danda. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. What can they do to stop him running at them? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Harmon. And Danda now. That is that for the first half here. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. A chance to whip it in. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, he's lost the ball. Brophy. Wonderful chance. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. A younger, really good attacking play. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Well, they couldn't keep it. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And using his strength to shield the ball. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here.
Trying to pick out a teammate. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And the substitution will occur now. Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. So a personnel change then. Now sending it in. Not did his job defensively. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And room now out on the wing. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. Jonah Ayunga. Promising looking ball. Oh, surely! Shot blocked, but still alive. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Yeah, good performance, and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.